A bizarre crime in Cheatham County is under investigation after a Fort Campbell soldier died. The sheriff says the soldier broke into the Pleasant View Nursery on Highway 41. He then knocked over a beehive, causing him to run out onto the highway. The soldier was hit and killed by a car. A call to 911 says the soldier couldn't get away from the bees before he was hit. That man's name has not been released and the investigation is ongoing right now. Coffee County officials have released the name of the man killed in an ultralight plane crash yesterday. 52-year-old Michael David Nelms died at the scene on Prairie Plains Road in Hillsboro. That's the south end of Coffee County. His plane went down shortly before 5 p.m. Nelms was the only person on board. The FAA is working with the sheriff's office to investigate the cause of the crash. Well, if you know someone looking for a new job or just wanting to make a career change, listen up. News Channel 5 is teaming up with the Nashville Convention and Visitors Corp and the Greater Nashville Hospi Hospitality Association to host a really big job fair tomorrow. About 40 employers from major hotels, attractions, transportation companies, and restaurants will all be there. So get ready to check out your resume. If you want to check it out, it's from noon to 6 at Music City Center tomorrow. Music City is still all abuzz with one of the biggest celebrations and top honors of the whole year. We were there as the newest members of the Country Music Hall of Fame were inducted last night. Songwriter and producer Fred Foster, fiddleman Charlie Daniels, and the legendary Randy Travis are now official members of the esteemed group. The star-studded red carpet was quite the scene as industry insiders all came out to brag on their friends and colleagues. Unbelievable. I never dreamed about this. And it never entered my mind that I would ever be in the Hall of Fame. The big thing to me is so many of my heroes are hanging in there, people that I have listened to all my life and admired all my life. And to think that my likeness and my plaque will hang in perpetuity in the Country Music Hall of Fame. I can't hardly say it. Country Music Hall of Fame is a, it's a pretty strong thing. But when he was elected and when they told him, I, I saw, I could see and, and, and hear in his voice that he knew he had made it. And congrats to all of them. It was a real who's who of our town's top stars. Among those at the ceremony, Dolly Parton, Trace Atkins, Garth Brooks, and Brad Paisley.